um, song came about um, about a year ago. I usually do my songs in advance, so I know what I'm doing. I have my plans, and um, you know, a lot of people have been asking me about um, doing something more upbeat, more something they could dance to. They know that I'm very soulful, and as you would know too, my music is mm -hmm. a lot of it is is more um, slow R and B, even slower reggae music. You know, so I just decided to venture into something different. Um, Ken Doyle Simpson, my producer, had um, made this beat and when I heard it, I knew it wasn't the typical soca rhythm, however, it, it's, it's different that I'm going for, you know. A lot of times the greatest songs come from fusions and new sounds and so it was a, an opportunity for me to, to do something different. Um, do soca, but not in the typical way that it's always done. So um, that's how soca mode came about, you know, just to do something fun and exciting. Music to me, body, don't everybody. Hands up in the air, shake your body like you never care. Why no panic, don't make the music take your body down. I actually tapped a little into the choreography side of me. I don't know where it came from, but... Um, it, it came out and I worked with Anselma and Maggie, who are great dancers, very professional, and they also chipped into the choreography. So it kind of came together with the concept of the video. We knew there had to be dancing in it, so we just had to get it right. I directed the video along with um, Alawi Production, Michael Vasquez. We collaborated on this project. So there's actually my production company, Metamorph Creatives, and Alawi Production as a collab in this. Um, the overall director, I, I had done the directing. Fetting from night till morn, body through any storm. Oh, I know, honey, wrong, make the music, they body down, everybody, hands up in the for me as an artist, I've learned to take it one day at a time and just do, you know, whatever I feel is best um, for me at that point in time, you know, that, that's appealing to, to my fans out there and I try to keep them entertained because really at the end of the day, they're the ones that keep me going in, in music. Um, I have several things that I've been working on and, um, you know, a lot goes on behind the scenes that people don't really know apart from the videos, you know, there are, there are different aspects of the music industry that in Belize we haven't tapped into as yet, um, but I'm tapping into those areas and you're going to be seeing that in the coming like 2015 and 2016 the sooner the better you know but like I said I pace myself and I make sure that I take the time to do it the right way rather than put something out there that's not up to a certain standard because I believe that as Belizeans we deserve the standard of any international um, country. It takes a whole lot of people to make a video like Soka Mode possible and if I start calling names I wouldn't be finished now. That's how many people it takes. But um, I just have to say thanks to my family for supporting me because they continue to support me in this journey and um, a lot of my cousins, they're like my team players, they're my makeup artists, my, my sister and my brothers, they're very much into what I'm doing. So. Um, it takes a lot of people, you know, to make this possible. So I just want to say thanks to everybody who was involved in the Soka Mode project. Thanks for being a part of it. And to my fans, big up yourself, you know, this is for us. Everyone feeling hot Like we could never stop Fetting from night till morning